qualification versus validation. There is a general saying within the life sciences, we qualify a system and or equipment and validate a process. A system and or equipment must be qualified to operate in a validated process. For example, you qualify an autoclave, whereas you validate a sterilization process. Manufacturers should identify what validation and qualification work is done. All systems, equipment, processes, and procedures should be reviewed and the manufacturer should decide what qualification and validation work needs to be performed. All facility areas, utilities, and process equipment must be assessed and classified as direct impact, indirect impact, or no impact following an analysis of their impact on the identity, strength, quality, purity, or safety of products manufactured at the facility and also the safety of the operations and environment. Each system or item of equipment having direct or indirect impact on the product quality must be validated. The extent of validation or qualification should be determined by performing the risk assessment of that particular system or equipment.